Okay, we're here at uh, in Edmonton, Canada, with Steve Peace. What would you What would you like to talk about? I'd just like to talk about an issue that's going around up here, and I'm sure it's going around in the states too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, tattoo shows that are run by non-tattooists. It's I think it's a very unsafe thing. You know, like I bust my butt trying to make this show as safe as possible. You know, supplying the proper supplies. What's safe? What's safe? Just the sterilization, and all that. And if you're not a tattooist. Don't know that stuff, like you know, like, and and I think they're just feeding off the tattoo community. You know, we have another show in this city and in my home city of Calgary coming through. You know, they they have no levels of they, they allow anyone in. If you've got the money for the booth, you have a booth. Like you know, we have you know, you have to meet our criteria to get a tattoo booth. Here. You know, you have to be approved. Your your level of work has to be at a certain. Level. I think I remember what a, a show I was here. Where I told you, or somebody told you about a booth where the work was terrible, and I think you went and you asked them to leave. No, no, no yeah, it was a booth that had been approved, but uh, the tattoo artist they had let someone in that had, hadn't gone through our approval system. So I, I went over, and, and this guy hadn't been approved, so he couldn't tattoo the show. I mean, it, it, you have to be a certain a certain level to work at. It used to be that way years ago when there was so. Yeah, but you, I think, but you did something about it. That always stood out on my mind. You know, that's part of the thing where I love coming to Canada. There's a whole different attitude. In America, that same thing would happen, and you would just be pissed. And, and, and maintain being pissed for a long, long time with everybody around you because of that. And you just went and told the guy, pardon me, but I, 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 that, that's a different attitude. I kind of run my show as I run my tattoo studio, you know? Yeah. If you're not good enough to, to work in my studio, you're not good enough to work in the show. Like, you know, it's a tattoo show should be about the best of the best. And, you know, for those shops that aren't good enough to get in, I hope it would be inspiration to work towards coming to a show like this, you know, to learn as much as you can, to get as good as you can, to come to our show, rather than just saying, oh, screw it, I'll go to this other show, and just, you know, I'll get, I'll get exposure there. But then you're kind of in this group of, uh, you know, mediocre shops. What, what's happening now? We're, we're in the middle of a recession. I think we're coming down the other side maybe now. Oh yeah. I don't know if it's as bad in Canada as it is in the you know, US. It's not as bad as Canada at all. Tattoo shops haven't really yeah. suffered at all. They haven't. No. Because we've had a lot of closures. Oh no, we have, we've had more openings actually. Really? We had four more shops open in Calgary in the past few months. But it's, it hasn't affected Get tattoo. out of here. Yes. Really? But because all the good people are, are booked. So people don't want to wait for a good tattoo. Is that so it? They will, they will rush and get a bad tattoo. Which is, I mean, that's a shame. I mean, people want it. We have phone calls every day. Can I get tattooed today? No, but can we pick you in next week? No, they don't want to wait that long. Yeah. So they don't want to wait a week. They're going to get a, you know, a low grade tattoo for yeah. the rest of their life. It's, it's a, I mean, that's the way tattooing is. I guess you've always had that. But, uh, well, it's a, it's a rite of passage. Yeah. And rites of passage are kind of when you decide to, you know, jump off that cliff into the volcano or whatever it happens to be. You want to just get it over. It's a learning quick. process as well. You know, maybe some of those people will learn. Yeah, there is better art available. The wait. And right. Get that tattoo covered. And we always want better art. You know, it's part of part of the whole thing here. You know, people learning on each other as well. Yeah. So you've certainly got a. It's a beautiful setup. Where did where did you? Where did you learn to get organize yourself in in this way? This is uh, uh, this is all about organizing. What? I, I stress for months before the show. Um, I just been to so many tattoo shows, and they're all run great. And I just looked at all the tattoo shows, took took what worked well, and try and use it. And took the the stuff that they weren't doing and, and integrated it into our show. Like we supplied everything here. For an artist that's coming from America, we supply all the medical supplies, paper towel, water, cups, everything, as well as we have an ink station. So they don't even have to bring ink to the show anymore. You know, that, that's an artist's biggest complaint. Packing ink and bring it to a show. We have three brands of ink here that artists can use for free, that we don't even have to pack down. Wow. So I'm trying to make it easy for the artist to come to the show as well. It's hard to not tattoo in your shop, you know, when you're in a strange setting, so we try and make it as easy as possible. Yeah. Well, that's something uh, that someone who doesn't isn't in the business wouldn't have a clue what you're even, uh, probably about. even talking about. Yeah. You know? Well, they don't, they don't care, right? It's all about a you know. We put everything we if we make money at the show, it goes right back into the show. Uh, this we this year we bought a sound system. You know, just 
to make the show even better. You know, like so every penny we make we put back in. Whereas, you know, some of the salon tattoos it's all about money. It's all about, you know, how much money can I make off the tattoo industry? And I'd like to see it all stay in the tattoo industry. Yeah. Yeah.